If you could think of the worst superhero power in the world, what would it be? Something like eating grass? Yeah, I thought so. Well, I've got it. And it, it tastes, no, I'm not gonna lie, it tastes disgusting. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we're going to be doing some pretty in-depth science that will allow us to harvest mob DNA and then implant it into ourselves to gain amazing powers such as the Enderman's teleporting, the Creeper's explosion and a ton more. So let's get straight into it and as you can see there are a ton of machines here which looks confusing at first and sounds confusing at first but hopefully I'll take you through the process once and show you all of the amazing powers that you can do and you'll definitely want to try it out for yourself because there are some really really cool powers now the first thing we're going to need is a um a willing volunteer okay maybe not not treos and we'll also need the scraper as well now to craft a scraper you're going to need two stone sticks and an iron ingot and i know stone sticks are a bit weird so to craft those you're just going to need two cobblestone to create them now that is the only crafting recipe i'm going to show you for the moment because there's so much crafting in this mod and there's a really good guide on the mod page that i'm just going to leave them out so you can if you really want to go and look at them then definitely go and look at the mod page but i want to get straight down to the dna splicing so we're going to need as i mentioned a very loyal volunteer and it's going to be this beautiful sheep how you doing buddy how you doing we won't name it because we get attached to it and then we won't want to clone it and hurt it and stuff but we're gonna need to take our little scraper here and then right click whatever mob you want to do in this case it's a sheep we can actually do loads of different mobs including endermen sheep creepers and i'll go through all of them in the end i think you can actually do pretty much every single one apart from zombies skeletons and villagers so yeah there's a lot in here so let's right click the sheep here it won't kill it but it will harm it it sometimes harms it for one damage there you go it harms it again and it's dropping these random things which are actually called skin scales so let's just pick these up here they don't stack which is a bit unfortunate but um you can get quite a lot from just one sheep so let's right click again yes give me your scales give me your scales i don't know how i'm carving skin off of him when there's wool in the way but anyway that's pretty interesting and in our inventory we now have a load of skin scales which say some skin scales of a sheep or it'll be of the appropriate mob that you um attacked now we are going to be using our first machine here which is the dna and Analyzer. Now this will actually analyze our skin scales and allow us to actually take the information from these skin scales and use it in our machine. Now as you can see there's loads of these furnace looking things around which are called combustion generators and these are like the power source of the mod so it's not as simple as shoving in coal in this side and then it will do it automatically. You actually need to fill this bar up just here so I'll just explain that for a second. This is a combustion generator which is just like a furnace and it will power I believe the left right and maybe on top as well I'm not too sure but it definitely powers the left and right machine. So let's place down the DNA analyzer right here and on the right click you will see that this bar is empty compared to this one being full. This sheep is not happy right now. <laughs> uh I can't really blame it. I guess I did shave most of its skin off. But anyway, yeah, you can see that this is the blue kind of gradient here, which means the power is full. And all you need to do is shove a load of coal into here and it will start to power up this bar. Now, if you leave a load of coal in here, it will actually just keep powering up until it runs out of coal. But do be aware that these machines eat up coal like it's nobody's business. It will eat up a lot. Now, to fill that up just once, we needed three coal. So for just one filling up of this progress bar, you will need three bits of coal. Now, it doesn't sound like too much, but um, when you get into the process when you need to do things multiple times over and over again it is pretty extensive so that's how that works that's just take this out break these and move on to the one that we're talking about which is this DNA analyzer now let's take these skin scales put them inside the analyzer and this is being powered by that and it will go up kind of slowly this is the machine that takes the longest but it's so worth it and you can actually speed these up as well with something called a overclocker now this is an overclocker and you use um, a clock and then four redstone to craft it and if you right click a machine with an overclocker I'll show you them in a minute because some of them I have got overclockers applied to this process will happen a lot quicker so you need to craft those apply them to your machines and you'll have DNA in absolutely no time so this should be almost done go on give me it give it and you will get a cell of a sheep and you'll also get an organic drop now organic drops just pretty much a byproduct of whatever you put into the machine of these scales but you will have a use for them later on now let's take this cell of a sheep and move on to the dna extractor which will then extract the dna from this cell and tell us what kind of dna we can get because there's two kinds there's either the ability one or a basic gene and that will all make sense in a second now as we're doing that i'm just going to put another set of skin scales in there because i'm going to need some now we've got a helix encrypted so you see all those 
that is just make no sense. So for that, we're going to need this, which is the DNA decryptor, which will decrypt this and tell us what we've got. And as you can see here, it tells me that I've got an overclocker one, so it's sped up by one stage. But as you can see, that's pretty damn quick. And now you can see on here, the Helix says, after it's decrypted it, it's found the woolly gene, the eat grass gene, and the basic gene. Now the basic gene is just a generic one. You won't get any powers for that, but woolly is an ability. But today we're gonna do the eat grass one for this, and then I'll show you all the abilities at the second part of the video, which is gonna be pretty damn cool. So let's take this Helix, and now we need to take this along to the DNA splitter, which is where you choose what ability you want. Now with a sheep in particular, you can get multiple abilities per mob, and you actually get that with the Enderman, and I believe the, I can't remember what it is now, but there's some that give you multiple abilities, so you can choose in some cases. So let's put this in here, and we're gonna choose the Eat Grass one. Now this is gonna split up our DNA and give us a byproduct which we're going to be able to use. Now let's just move this along here. As you can see, we've got some more organic drops, because you can get different kinds of DNA. It's random each time, but it is pretty interesting to see which one you're gonna get. So let's see if we've got any from here just yet. Come on, extract the DNA. Do it faster, do it faster. As you can see, if you need to do this over and over again, it can take a while, and I think this is a different one. It's got a little bit of a different kind of configuration of letters and numbers there. Come on, sheep, you're just being pesky now. I, I left you with five health. Don't make me get nasty, okay? Don't make me get nasty. But here we go. We have got woolly and basic genes. So as you can see with this one, we didn't actually get the eating grass gene from this particular part of DNA or the cell. So we can take this one into the DNA splitter as well and split a different gene. So what we've got from the one originally, we chose eat grass. So we've got an eat grass gene. Now you're going to have to take these genes and put them into the gene breeder. Now this one, when you put it in the right hand side, is going to need eight other cells of either the same type or basic. Now we just so happen to have a basic one right here. So let's split this in the DNA and just choose basic. Now you can, if we did get the eat grass one with that, you could select eat grass and you'll be able to do that. And you can only breed these with either a basic gene, which is just a generic gene, as I mentioned earlier, or eat grass. Now you'll see why that is in a minute. And I know it sounds confusing, but do stay tuned because it is a really cool effect and makes sense in the long run. So we've got our basic gene here, and now we can place that in here with this and it will start to breed in the breeder. Now we're going to need eight of these to create a gene eat grass completed. Now I'm just going to grab one from here to save time. So let's just take eat grass and this will give our eat grass completed. So when you put eight of either the basic genes or the eat grass genes in here with this, this will turn into a completed one from a breeding one. So let's take this completed one and now we actually need some of our own blood. Yes, it's pretty gross, but we're going to need one of these, which is a syringe. And to craft this, you're going to need an arrow, which is the pointy bit. You're actually going to need an arrowhead to stab into your arm. Three pieces of iron and one glass bottle. And what you need to do is kind of, it works like a bow. So hold down the right click. Make sure you've got it pulled all the way back. Let go and you'll get ill for a second. You get blindness three for a little, little bit. But don't worry, it doesn't last for long at all. And now we have a full syringe of our blood. How gross is that? Look at that. I like the texture on it, though. The blood looks very, very nice. Um, if blood can even look nice. But now what we've got to do is take the completed gene and then the syringe and prepare our own blood for mixing our two DNAs together. Now with every single blood sample that you do in this mod or everything you do with blood and change it in the syringe, you will have to centrifuge it. So every time, it's kind of like a cooking process. So just to make it simpler, every time you do something with blood in a syringe, put it into the centrifuge and you'll be able to have a centrifuge syringe. So we're going to need that. And now we're going to move on to the DNA combiner, which will finally complete the last step of the process and combine our DNA in this syringe with our eat grass ability. So let's put the syringe in the right hand side here and our gene on the left and now it should completely go into here and our DNA will be combined. We need to inject that back into ourselves and we'll be able to have the eat grass ability. It sounds like the worst ability in the world, kind of like a sheep superhero would have this power, but it's actually very handy in Minecraft, which is pretty damn cool. So let's take this syringe, and now we go over to here, and then we need to, let me go into game mode zero quickly, and then we actually need to go over to the centrifuge. See, I even forgot, because we've done something different with the syringe, we now need to centrifuge it again, or kind of like smelt it again, to make sure it has centrifuge in the brackets. Ready, steady. Go. There we go. We've got centrifuge and that is now a fully prepared needle. Oh my god, it's turning tonight. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. And now we're going to inject this mutated DNA into ourselves and we'll gain the power. So right click again, just as we did before to take the blood out, to put the blood back in. You will get nausea for about 10 seconds, which is, as you know, my least favorite thing. And it's nausea 3 as well, so my least favorite potion effect. But now we have the eat grass ability. Now you can see my hunger is slightly down and we just so happen to have some grass in here 
here. And if you get peckish when you've got the eat grass ability, you will be able to eat grass with a right click. Are you ready? Oh my god. It's really, really handy. Imagine you live in a plains biome. You're never, ever going to need food ever again. You just go around, nom up the grass, just like a sheep, and you have unlimited food. It, it heals one hunger bar, or half a hunger bar, sorry. Half a hunger drumstick, whatever you want to call it. Every single time. How amazing is that? Now, there is another way to actually take off these DNA mutations. So, say you didn't want to eat grass anymore. Don't know why you wouldn't like it. Maybe you don't like the taste anymore. But what you need to do is actually take one of these, actually, which is it's one of these. Um, after you've taken your DNA, you need to put it into, instead of the breeder, you need to put it into the transmutator and you'll get a red version of it. So let's just go into game mode one and you will get a red version of it. So let's take the, where is eat grass? Let me just search it. There we go, we'll get a red version, which is the antigene, and we need to take another section of our blood, which is gross. Now, don't take too much of your blood, because, you know, you might get a little bit sick. I don't know. It can never be good. Put this in the centrifuge and do the same process as you put the DNA together to take it apart again. And here we go. We'll put it into the DNA remover this time. So you put it in here, um, put the antigene in there, and as you can see, it says, eat grass on the syringe field part. But when this is finished, it will take it all out. You will inject yourself again, and then the ability will be completely gone and that is basically how you do DNA so it's very it is a little bit complicated took me a little bit of time to kind of figure it out but rewatch this video to find out how to learn it over and again because it doesn't take too long it took me two goes to get it and it's pretty damn it's pretty damn simple actually once you've got all the machines going and there's some really cool mob effects as well so let's take this back in the centrifuge again because it always has to go via this you always have to spin it around and smelt it and then we'll inject ourselves and we won't be able to eat grass anymore so let's take this and then stab ourselves Ugh. Bam, and now we won't have the ability anymore. So game mode zero, and I'll show you in a minute that when we have um, a little, oh, it's, it's done it already. It's like it read my mind. We've got a little bit of hunger gone. We'll right click the grass, and now we cannot eat grass because we took the DNA away. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, after I showed you these effects, because they're really, really cool, all the ones that you can get, go ahead and try it out. Rewatch the video as many times as you need to, because it's definitely worth it. Now, I've got the most godly syringe in the world. I don't think I would ever say that in a YouTube video, but I've got the, the most amazing syringe in the world right here. This syringe is full of every single ability. Look at that. It's got every single ability. I'm going to eject myself with it to show you all of these abilities. So let's try this out. Hopefully it will work. It's centrifuged. It's ready to go. And I am going to imply all of these abilities into my skin. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's worked. It's worked. You've seen some kind of changes right now, but we're going to go over all of them separately right now and which mobs you need to scrape with the scraper to get them. So in this chest has all of the abilities. The first one is the chicken. So if you scrape the chicken, you will have the ability to have no full damage whatsoever. So how can we test this out? Let's go into game mode one, fly up here, and then we'll go into... Nope. Onto the top, please. Onto the top. Then go into game mode zero. Jump off of here. And of course, you would take some quite severe damage if you jump off of this. But now, you have absolutely none. That is from the chicken. That is pretty cool. So just follow the process earlier. Just with chicken scales instead of sheep. And you'll be able to get that. The next one is the cow. Now, this one, this one's interesting. Because it doesn't actually affect you. It affects other animals. So if I take this sheep here, you only can normally milk cows. But now, right click. And you should be able to milk sheep. Now, I don't know why this isn't working. One second. It should actually be able to... Um, let's try it on this one. Come on. Give me some milk, buddy. Give me, no, oh, God. That was the wrong thing to do. Just give me some milk, please. Will you not give me milk, sir? No? Okay. Fine. We can't milk Trioros. But anyway, that might be a bug with the mod. I'm not too sure. But um, you will be able to milk every single entity in the game. That, that is pretty damn interesting, don't you think? Milking a sheep and, and stuff like that. That's that's a, a bit of a weird thought. But anyway, let's carry on. And the next one is the Ocelot, which will be able to allow us to walk faster. As you can see, we've got a speed 2 boost absolutely all the time, which is really cool. Then we have the sheep, which apparently makes everything shearable. Where are you, sheepy? We want to shear something else, though. Let's grab... Let's go into game mode. Um, let's actually just grab one from here. Let's grab... What can you normally not shear? Well, pretty much anything other than a sheep. So let's get this ocelot... Oh, this is probably the worst one. Shear for me, buddy. Shear. Shear. No. Why aren't you shearing? 
So I'm really not sure why this isn't working, but it might be a problem with the mod, I'm not too sure. It's a very complicated effect, I imagine, to code. So let's just keep that in mind that you can shear and milk whatever you like when you add all of those effects, which, which is pretty cool. So let's just put these back. And the next one is the horse, which allows us to jump higher, and you've already seen that. We've got jump boost too. A little rabbit icon there. I love that icon, by the way. That's pretty random. But anyway, squid is next, and you can breathe underwater with this guy, which is pretty damn sweet. Let's just, you know, break this glass. Let's just... Um, don't tell Treos about this. This is pretty much vandalism. But as you can see, we can now breathe underwater for an unlimited amount of time. It is not going down whatsoever. I am now one of you. Actually, I don't want to be one of you. No, I'm going. I'm going. I don't want to be one of them. <laughs> I don't want to be one of them at all. So let's go into it. Again, we've got, um, moving on, we've got the bat, which allows us to fly. You can see we're in game mode zero, which is survival mode. You can't normally fly. Double tap space. And look at that. I can fly and combined with the chicken, that is really handy because you don't take full damage when you fall to the ground as well so a very good two to combine if you're thinking about doing this dna splicing yourself next one mushroom and apparently i don't know if this one is going to work either but um you can milk everything for mushroom stew this one isn't working either i'm sure i'm doing something wrong i don't know what i'm doing wrong but um wh what about you what about you no none of them want to but anyway you can milk them for mushroom stew which is pretty damn cool then we've got the enderman which has a teleport ability and the enderman has a second one as well which is the save inventory ability so when i die i will actually keep my inventory which is really cool also he has the teleport ability now some of these have different controls if you go into controls scroll all the way down you will have different ones so the teleport key is h now i'm not sure how this is going to work so hopefully i don't go too far but let's let's teleport Oh, I see how it works now. I, I should have tested that out before, but I just wanted the reaction. So if we press the H key, it just fires out a ender pearl just like this, and you'll be able to teleport just like an enderpum for free, might I add, because you don't take any damage whatsoever. Can I hit straight back into there? Can I do it? Oh, oh, that might be good. That might be good. Oh my god, I made it. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was amazing. Let's move on to the next one before I get too full of myself. And the next one is the zombie pigman. So shave a zombie pigman's skin and you'll be able to swim in lava without getting hurt. So let me just... Where can I put this? Let's just put it here, I guess. And now we can walk in lava. We technically do get hurt, but no damage is taken whatsoever. So that is a really cool one. Help me. Help me. Get out the lava. Get out the lava, please. That is really handy. Actually, really handy in the nether as well. So let me just gnaw on this chicken for a second. There we go. And now we're going to move on to the blaze. And you can shoot fireballs. This is another one with a control. And then you've also got the creeper, which... Oh, boom, I guess. Yes, you're coming to watch. You're coming to watch me explode, aren't you, you sicko? So let's go into options, controls. And now we've got um, shoot fireballs, which is F, and blow yourself up, which is U. Now, I'm confused about how the blowing up one's going to go. But it, oh, no. Let's put it out. It's misery. A fireball has been fired at the ocelot and it, it died. It died. Let's fire another one. There we go. Treoris, you need to be careful of this lava. I knew you was going to do that. Stay there. Stay there. You know what? I'm not having any of this. You are not doing this to me right now. Do Just stay away, okay? Just stay away. It's not for you. Not for you at all. Jesus, you can't do anything in here without him getting out. Look, he was going to go out of there as well. What is your problem? I've lost track of what I was doing now. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. We're going to have to go to a safe place. Um, I guess here is fine. I, I don't really know. Let's just press U and see what happens. Oh, God. I'm going to explode. Guys, I'm going to explode. Or do I have to hold it? Oh, I'm so nervous. Ready? Yeah, you have to hold it. You have to hold it. Hold the U button. Explode me. Ex oh, God. <laughs> That is awesome. Um, I think this is an, a good time to test the inventory as well because I think what you have to do is um, you find an ender chest, I think, or it spawns inside an ender chest. Oh my god, why is this so confusing? Is it around here? Hello? Hello? It might be because I exploded through strange means, but there you go. Um, that That is how you be a creeper, and that one is pretty fun. I must say I did enjoy that one. Really, really cool. Let's just, let's just put these back because... You know, he might get in trouble. Might get in trouble. Right, what have we got next? Because these are seriously fun. The next one is the ghast. And of course, we can shoot ghast balls. Let me just go into controls. And, oh no, I've lost all my stuff now. No, the ultimate syringe. No, not the ultimate syringe. Right then, guys, this is all repaired, kind of. Oh, I, I hope he doesn't fall down there. But anyway, we'll just risk that. I have my ultimate syringe back. I've got a few left, so let me just... Oh, I forgot to centrifuge it. But this gives me an opportunity to show you the seriously overclocked stuff. I have put seven overclocks on this, and check this out. 
Oh my god, the power. The absolute power, but it does eat a lot of your coal. That was a stack before I started that. It's crazy, but it's so, so worth it. So let's inject with this. Oh, oh god, yes, it's straight in me. Beautiful. And now we are going to be able to test out the next ones, which are the um, the Ghast, which will allow you to fire Ghast balls. And I can't remember the control for this one. Let me just find it out. The control is B. So let's go for B and see what happens. Um, I'm going to try it over here, just so that Treyoris doesn't get too, too astounded. Let me just go right here. Oh god. Yep, yep, that definitely works. Beautiful. This is... Oh god, this is fun. I forgot about the blast resistance of iron. That's pretty decent. Nice. There's a fire, though. Oh, God, we need to finish this up quickly. I need to get the fire extinguisher in here. So the next one is actually the iron golem, which gives you more hearts. Now, if I go into game mode zero, you'll be able to see that. I think you could see it before. It kind of comes up as absorption hearts. So you can see I've got five more hearts than usual, which is pretty damn sweet. Very, very handy. And then you've got the potions one, which I think is F, and you can throw random potions out. Let's have a look here. Let's go to controls. Uh, it's P. Why am I so silly? Why am I so silly? Let's go for P. So our potion. What potion was that? I think that was a poison potion. Let me try it on this, you know, the sheep here. There we go. What is that? That is slowness. I've given myself slowness. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. That one was... That was slowness again. So really cool ones. You can get poison. You get regeneration. Everything a witch can throw. Very, very cool. You can do that all yourself. And the last two are wither from the wither skeleton, which allows you to afflict wither on stuff. So let's see if this works. I don't know whether it will work with or without a sword. So let me just try it in a sword a second. Here we go. Let's grab ourselves a sword that doesn't isn't going to kill. That's going to be pretty good. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. And the final one is an interesting one that I can't really show you, but it is the Ender Dragon. So good luck getting the skin from an Ender Dragon. That's going to be a pretty damn mean feat. But if you do, if you get a heal crystal or you're near a heal crystal, it heals you and you're pretty much undefeatable. How crazy is that? It's really cool. I've destroyed this lab, um, but it's really cool because I, I used to be able to eat grass. I guess they gave me the superpower to do that. So this is a really, really impressive mod. Very, very cool. And the effects are pretty cool as well. It's a, it's a shame that some of them are a bit sketchy at the moment, but it is kind of a work in progress mod still. So go and check it out. Definitely rewatch the first bit of the video if you didn't really understand too much about the DNA, but I'm sure you will all pick it up very, very quickly and be able to explode yourselves, fire gas balls and become a creeper. Or an Enderman, whichever one you like. And you survived, finally. You did only have four health in the end, but that's fine. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please go and check out the link in the description below where you'll find a link to download the mod. And also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would also be greatly appreciated. Now, if we could reach another 10,000 likes, the support has been absolutely incredible, guys. I cannot thank you enough. So thank you so, so much. If we can get 10,000 likes again, that'd be amazing. So thanks for all the support again. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I... And and this beautiful sheep will see you all next time. Goodbye.